Welcome to another edition of Get Victory. I'm Ed Crenshaw, pastor of Victory Church, Philadelphia, and we're honored that you have joined us for this moment of encouragement. Hey everyone, we are heading into the fourth holiday of this pandemic, and this Father's Day will probably be like a Father's Day like none other. Uh, when I say Father, you know, maybe you have good feelings, good thoughts. Uh, maybe when I, when I say Father, maybe your emotions aren't so good, perhaps because you've lost a father that you love dearly, and uh, you're just sitting here uh, facing this Father's Day, remembering how much you loved him and how you miss him. Or maybe you had a father that you don't feel is so great. Well, I'll tell you what, um, I did have a really good father. He loved me till the day he died. He showed up for my games before it was cool for dads to show up for sports activities. He believed in me, he encouraged me, he blessed me, and more than anything, he showed me the way to my heavenly father. Um, my husband is a wonderful father, and like my dad, he wasn't a He's not a perfect dad, oh, but he shows up for our kids. They can call him to solve a multitude of problems. Uh, but more than anything, my dad and my husband um, show a dad who loves unconditionally. And today, whether you had a great dad or didn't have a dad or you're mourning the loss of your dad, we have a heavenly father who loves us unconditionally. Listen to these words from Psalm 103 when it describes God. It says, for his unfailing love towards those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. How much does God love you? How much does God love you? Well, look out your window, step out your door and look up. How high is that heaven above you? That's the, the greatness of God's love for you. And right in the middle of these verses, it says, God has removed our sins from us as far from the east is from the west. God knows we're weak. God knows we mess up. But you know, we have a Heavenly Father who loves us unconditionally. Um, our, heavenly, our, our earthly fathers may have loved us more if we got that promotion, brought home the grades, played that position on the team, made this decision, went to that school, uh, earned this degree. But you know, we have a Heavenly Father who, those things are great, but His love is never based on those kind of things. On the day you felt like your greatest failure, the great love of your Heavenly Father was there for us. And you know, today it's cool to uh, be a funny dad. It's cool to be a funny dad. You've got to have great jokes if you're going to be a great dad. Well, let me tell you how the Bible describes a great dad. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. Um, a great dad is one who's tender and compassionate. And you know what, uh, a dad can show that side also. And as we face Father's Day, please remember, um, honor your dads, uh, give him a call, text him, but remember that you have a Heavenly Father who is tender and compassionate toward you. Um, and um, he is there for you and he's chosen to call himself Father. There's lots of words in the Bible that describe God. He's provider, he's mighty, he's um, healer but more than anything, he's chosen to, to reveal himself to you as a father. This weekend, as we're celebrating a different Father's Day, remember that you have a father who loves you as high as the heavens are above the earth. If you're feeling bad about yourself, if you're feeling like you failed, if you're feeling unloved, step outside, look up, and look up at the sky and remember, you have a God who's got your back. You ha have a God who's chosen to be your father. You have a God who sent his own son to pay the price for your sins, that you can live in a daily relationship with him and experience that greatness of his love. Happy Father's Day, everyone, and uh, don't forget your Heavenly Father. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day, Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sunday, starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace. Mm -hmm.